seven exercises in each one this time. And it's going to be 50 seconds effort with a 10 second rest. Putting this one on today, a little bit different because I know some of you have missed some of the hit sessions this week. And I think you're going to benefit if we just pick up the pace a little bit more and roll this one like this way. All right, so find your space, heart rate monitors on. Let's start with a shoulder roll. Squeeze your tummy in tight. Circle up and round. Now, if you do have any injuries, know that you can drop me a little message in the chat. And I can give you a regression option. Looking good. Here we go. There's a couple more coming in. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Tracy. Hey. Okay, open up the chest. We're just warming up. You haven't missed anything, Tracy. Elbows back and behind. Squeeze. Short pause. Open up your chest here. Feel those shoulder blades meeting together at the back. Keep tapping it out with your heels. Relax your shoulders. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. We're going to do windmills. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Standing up nice and tall in the middle. Squeeze in your core. That's really going to protect your back. Help you with good posture. Because we know when we stand up straight, it instantly knocks about three or four pounds off the way you look. So it's really important to think about that. And sweep the floor with your fingertips up into a calf raise. Tiptoes. Reach. Deep breaths in through the nose. You right, Tracy? I think she's having issues with the bright sun, trying to see the screen. That's it, swish yourself around. Okay, let's take you to squats. Here we go, push those knees out in line with your toes. Ease yourself into it. We don't need to go at full speed yet, we're just warming up. And I want you to pay attention to pushing the floor away with your heels when you come up out of that squat. And squeeze your glutes out the back. We're going to do three more here. Try and drop a bit lower if you can. Get those knees warm. That's the last one. Forward lunges. Standing up nice and tall. Push the floor away again with that front foot and heel. Let's make sure that your knee is not tracking over your ankle. Bring it back a bit so it's a nice neat line. Good job. Let's rotate as well now the waist. Add that in. Rotate your elbow towards your opposite knee. Squeeze in your midline. It's the core here that's turning you, not your shoulders. Use those obliques. Two more. The last one. Okay, forward kicks. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Now, if you're feeling good and keen this morning, you know you can give it a little skip in the middle. If you need a bit longer to warm up, like I did this morning, I'm walking it in the middle. Good job. Take that chest down towards your side. Reach. Two more. Last leg. Take it out to the side. Lateral lunge. Same leg. Step it out. 
step it back in. Straight leg, all the weight drops here. And your feet are aligned forward. Soles stuck like glue to the floor. Two and one, other side. Push, drop it here. Feel that contraction in the quad, this leg. Push the floor away from your foot. You got that added intensity, resistance there. Three more, two, and one. All right, we're gonna take the heels to bum here. Just sway it. Heel kick. Try and get that here. Up to your glutes. Hamstring curl. Squeeze. Don't just go for the motions, guys. Switch your mind to that muscle. Engage. Nice job. For three, two, one. You're going to pull your knee into you. Two steps forward, pull that knee in. You don't need to move very far. Just do two steps on the spot if you haven't got enough room. Really squeeze that knee, hug it into your chest. Squeezing your abs tight. Oh, this is nice this morning. Yes, Saturday's looking good. Squeeze. All right, last stretch, legs wide, slide it down. Woo. Slide down to your ankles, stand up nice and tall. Remember that posture that we're talking about? Scoop your abs in, ease yourself down to your ankle. Woo. Brilliant job, Parkers. The three, two, and one. Well done, shake it out. Okay, so you can take your water whenever you need to. Rest whenever you need to. As I said, we have got three blocks of work. The last one is targeting abs. First one is going to be squats. Second block, lunges. First exercise we've got, guys, is 180 degree burpees. So get your space. We're going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Jump it down, chest the floor if you feel able. Jump round. 180 degrees. Push that chest off the floor. If you're doing full chest the floor. Or you can walk it. Bring those knees in. Stand up tall. Turn yourself around. Stretch. Let's get the worst one out of the way, eh? Come on, let's go. Each exercise, 50 seconds, with a 10 second rest. For three, two, one. Nice job. Worst one out of the way. Good. All right, we've got forward jump, squat. Run it back. Off we go, 50 seconds. Again, if you've got no room, squat jump, run it here on the spot. Squat jump. I want you to be landing with soft feet, but low. If you've got some space, big jump forward. Run it back. Use your arms. Launch yourself forward. Catch yourself deeply in that squat. Brace your core. Less than 10 seconds here. Woo! Good job. And that's your last one, rest. Shake those legs out. Good job. Stick it on the spot. Feet together, knees together. Ski twists. Keep those elbows up. 
feet together, rotate, use that middle, lightly on the balls of your feet, you don't need to slam, dunk, you could be nice and light, that's good for your joints, now we've only been taking it down even lower, less of a jump, more of a twist on the balls of my feet, less bounce, up to you guys, do what feels right for you is what I would say, that's it, keep going, we've got 10 on the clock here, Squeeze in that core, we need to make it be tight. For three, two, one. Well done. Shake those legs out. Okay, I might need a mat. If you've got the knee issues, give yourself a mat. We've got commando squats. You kneel down, you bring yourself into that squat position. You stay low. Try not to come up. But if you need to come up, that's fine. Alternate those knees. Don't always lead with the same leg. Lock your core in. Here. That's it. Good job. Push. You're doing brilliantly, Parkers. We got 10 on the clock here. Really fix your mind on these quads. Keep yourself low with that pressure here. Three, two, one. Shake it out, well done. Good job, they're called commando squats. All right, here we go, run on the spot. Run it. Now when I say sprawl, this is a sprawl. Back to run. All right, we're ready. Sprawl. Take those legs wide in a star shape. You just straight arms in a high plank, wide legs. Come on, move those legs and arms. Sprawl. Quickly get yourself back up and run it again. Sprawl. Good job. Come on, pick those knees up. Sprawl. Sprint it. Sprawl for five seconds on the clock. Sprawl. And rest. Woo! Nice. Shake away those cobwebs of Friday night. Well done. Breathe. Okay. For this one, we've got three low pulses. And then we're going down into that bare poise. Take your head down, push your hands away, off the floor, forehead to floor, top of that head, three pulses, nice and low. We've already started guys, it's a 10 second rest, very, very quick. It's just a short time to catch your breath. But if you needed more recovery and you're standing still, no problem. 10 on the clock. Come on, bounce it low. Keep those knees in line with the toes. Chest up. Three, two, one. Well done. Shake those legs out. Woo. All right, this one, we've got high, low basketball shots. Take it low. Jump up as if you're scoring a net. Back in. Alternate the sides. So shoot to the left. Shoot to the right, touch the floor in between, keep that chest up. So imagine you're picking up a ball, a basketball off the floor, and then you're shooting it. Woo! Come on, push. Nice work, Parkers. Tummy in tight. Use those feet, soles of the feet, soft landing. Stretch out those abs. Woo! Come on, we got five on the clock. Two, one. Well done, shake that out. That is the squat block done. Off to the lunges. Woo! All right, so we're gonna start with a bit of cardio here, a bit of hit. 
We're going to be running back on the spot. Here we go. Run with me. Back in. When I say left hand, left hand touch the floor. Back in. Let's do it again. Left. Touch the floor. Back to that high run. Fast pace. Right hand. Good. Come on, go as fast as the pick it up. Both hands. Down. Left. Right. Come on. Jog it in the middle as fast as you can. Left. Right. Both hands. Both hands. Run, run, run. For three, two, one. <laughs> well done. Shake those legs. Okay, we're going to lunges, reverse lunges. Taking your left leg back and step it forward. Pendulum lunges. Let's go, back in. Make sure that you're using that back toe to keep you in that position. If you struggle with your lunges, take your stance wider in a triangular shape so that you've got more stability from the bottom up. Don't cross it in behind you. Take it wider. All right, switch legs with that pendulum. Right leg forward and back. <laughs> Very nice. Chest up. Let it swing. Come and think like a clock. Grandfather's clock, pendulum. It doesn't stop. It's always swinging. Three, two, one. Well done, guys. Well done. I'm moving my kitchen floorboards. They're sliding away. <laughs> All right, we've got lateral lunge with your arms up in the air. Same side. Bring them down to your side. Take them up in the air as you lunge laterally. So you've got that one straight leg. Both soles of the feet are glued to the floor. No rolly ankles. And switch sides. Take those arms up. Forcing you to keep a nice neutral straight back. Drop it on this leg here. Bend. Woo, have rest. Shake those legs out. Well done, Parkers. How are you doing? You doing well? Thumbs up. Sweating outside and sweating you. Okay, we've got inner heel. Here. Come on, lift, lift, lift. We're only doing it once. You can slow it down. You can bring that heel in. I want you to lift that knee high. Nice and high. Good work. That's it. If you have the energy, you know you can run it halfway through. Keep pushing. Go on guys, lift, 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 squeeze your core. Super Saturday session. Well done, Parkers. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Back in. We're on the floor. We've got bunny hops. Lift those heels up and over. Let's go. Tuck your tops in. Pull it right away. Yes, Claire. Same thing as you. Tuck it in. And squeeze your tummy. Do you really want to take those feet over from one side to the other? A big sweep. Get those heels to touch your bum. Kick that button. Well done. 15 on the clock. Take those arms down towards that front leg. 
Swing and chop. Make sure you're taking your hands up really high and bring them down. All right, now if you want to up the intensity, you can jump lunge. Try and get that back knee down though, just above the floor. So from the side, 90 degrees in the front and the back leg. Got to use some enthusiasm on that chop. Imagine you've got something there, a bit of resistance. Three, two, one. Well done, Gemma. You're doing really well. Keep going, just do what you can. Breathe. All right, last one in this block before we hit the abs. High knees, military high knees. Two options. Slow, or you know how I go, fast. Come on, take me away. Lift, lift, lightly on the feet. Just grit and bear it. Nice job. Woo! 15. Come on, Parkins, we've got this. Push and pull. Don't move those hands for five, three, Two, one. Woo. Well done. Grab your back. Have a quick drink. Catch your breath. Woo. Okay. Hitting the floor for us. Very nice. All right. If you're okay, give me the thumb up. <laughs> well done. Woo. Okay, first exercise, guys, is a caterpillar. Stand up straight. Walk it out into a plank position. Press up two times. Walk it back. Are you ready? Off we go. Back in. Come on, keep that core tight. Good. So you're walking your hands back to your feet. Your feet stay stationary. Take yourself all the way out into a nice plank position. Drop to your knees if you need to. to do that two press-ups. Chest to floor. Come on, push yourselves. Halfway through. Nice and tall when you come out of the caterpillar. Reset yourself. Strong arms. Come on, guys, you're doing incredibly well this morning. Strong. And rest. Shake those shoulders out. Very nice. Okay, back into your plank position. We've got shoulder taps. So you're in a high plank. Use your tiptoes to hold you in position. You are just taking your palm off your hand, touching your shoulder. I want you to check that your shoulder is in line with your wrists. If you're a bit too far back, walk your feet forward. Pull your tummy in tight. Slow those taps down. Come on, strength, upper body and core. Tiptoes are just holding you in place here. We've got 10 on the clock. Come on, keep going. For five, three, two, and one. Nice job. Well done. Okay, we've got tricep dips. Take your palms in your hands so they're facing the same way as your feet. Lift yourself up, right leg in the air, and hinge at the elbows. So your elbows bending is what's taking your body down to your mat. I'm not using my hips. I'm actually bending my elbows first. Push yourself up. Palms facing forward. Try and keep your elbows narrow so the elbows point directly behind you, directly behind at your wall. Switch legs. Come on. 
nice and straight. Push. Three, two, one. Ooh. Well done, shake those shoulders out. Very good. All right, we're going to walk the work core a bit more here. On your bottom, bring your leg in. You want to be hitting the inside of your foot. Thigh comes right into your chest. So you've got the option here of keeping your feet on the floor in between every inner foot pad. Or you can lift them up and you can balance on your bottom. Draw those legs in. Squeeze the core tight. We're going to test if you've actually got your core switched on in a minute. Squeeze it in, belly back into spine. And those legs here down the quads should be killing. Rest. All right, sit yourself back a little bit here. Brace your core. I we to punch it. Little punches like this. Now instantly you have to brace your tummy because you don't like doing this. That, stop. Keep that squeeze. Keep that squeeze. That's what I want you to hold here now as we do in and out legs. Now you can do single legs. But as we just practice that tightness in your core, keep it hard. Bring that knee in. Good. Now oh, that's up the intensity, hasn't it? Abs are switched on. Come on, lift. Lift. Support yourself with your hands just behind you. For three, two, one. Woo! Nice job, well done. Good. Woo! Wow. Who's getting carried away? Guys, we've got to cool down. Well done. I just looked at the clock, it's 59. Look how time flies when you're having fun. Still have another five exercises left here. Escape. All right, reach up. Don't come up on your tiptoes. I just want you to stretch out those abs for the moment. So they work super hard there. Well done. Bring your hands down. Take your left arm in. Hug it in. Ooh. That was a nice surprise, wasn't it? Suddenly over. <laughs> and right arm over. So remember... You can watch all of these workouts on the YouTube and the Facebook channel. Please go and watch and follow. Lots of brilliant different workouts there. We're going to stretch out those quads. Take your left or your right heel to your bottom. Keep those knees in line with each other. Take your hips forward a bit. You've got a nice stretch in the quad here. And switch legs. Woo. Very good. Okay, if you want to take a bit more time to stretch after, you can do so. This is our last stretch. Come down, push your knees away with your elbows. We're stretching out the inner thigh. And push the floor away again with your whole feet. Onto the tiptoes. Reach. Wiggle your fingertips. Bring it down. You know, hands to the front, guys. Amazing job. Excellent work.